Okay, so hopefully you've already watched the previous video that talks about the summation rules and the formulas. If you haven't, you want to go back and, and do that first so that way you'll know what formulas I'm plugging in for these problems. So for this one, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to split this summation up into two different ones. Because there's a 2 in front of the i, I can also move that outside the summation notation. So this is what it looks like. I have 2 times summation i equals 1 to 15 of just i. And then I'm going to do minus summation i equals 1 to 15 of 3. Okay, so I've broken that up by using the summation rules, taking the constant on the outside and breaking it up into two separate summations. Now why do I want to do that? Because now I've isolated each of these two summations and I can use a different formula for each one. So in the previous video we talked about the formula that you would use for this one and if you have an i what happens for that is that goes i equals 1 to n it would be n times n plus 1 over 2 is the formula. So we're going to put that in this one and since we know that the n is 15 I can put 15 in there. So I'm going to do 15 times 15 plus 1 all that's going to be over 2. So that's the summation formula with n being 15. Now this other one over here that's a c value and so the formula is c times n which means that this would be 3 times 15. So now all I have to do is just work all this out. The 2's are going to cancel out here. If I do 15 times 16 work that out I get 240 minus 45 and that means that 195 is going to be the final answer for this one computing all that. So that was a lot easier to do that way. Other, the other way of doing it is I had to put 1 in for i and then 2 and then 3 and do all that 15 times, add all that together. This way by using formulas I was able to get the answer uh, just a, a couple steps and that way I don't have to write all that out. Now we're going to do the same thing for this one down below. We want to do use the, uh, the rules to split this up. So the first one i equals 1 to 10 of i squared. Not much more I can do with that one. And I have a minus 2 I'm going to pull on the outside of the summation. i equals 1 to 10 also. If you're splitting it up just remember you have to use always the same n on each of those when you do that. And then this, we're left with i cubed. So we have two different formulas, summation formulas we talked about in the previous video for i squared and i cubed and we're going to put uh, both those in. In this case the n is going to be equal to uh, 10 in this case. So, we start with the first one, it's going to be 10, 10 plus 1, and then we have 2, 2n plus 1, so 2 times 10 plus 1, all that over 6. Next, I have minus 2 over 1 times the one with the cube, so if I put the cube in there, we're going to do 10, 10 plus 1, and then I have uh, 10 squared rather, so I have 10 squared here, that's n squared and then n plus 1 squared, so 10 plus 1 squared, all that's going to be over 4. So that's the specific formulas I'm using for each one. So again, this is the one for the i squared, n, n plus 1, 2 n plus 1 over 6, that's the main one I'm using. The one over here, if I have i cubed, I'm using that specific formula, that's n squared times n plus 1 squared, all that over 4. So 6 and 4, that's all part of the, the formula. So you want to calculate all this, multiply it all out, and subtract it, and I'm just going to give you the final answer here. The final answer that you're going to have for this one is going to be, make sure I get it right, uh, negative 5665 is going to be your exact answer when you put all that in. It's negative because this part here is smaller than what this part is, and that's why you get a negative number uh, with it. And that would, that would be the same thing if you were to do this 10 times and put one in for both eyes and do all that down, you would have gotten exactly the same answer. So again, these formulas allow you to get the answers without writing all those steps out.